welcome back to another random Sam Epic Mom book review. And today, I'm going to do a kid's book. Now this is Imogene's Antlers by David Small. i get you guys. And I consider this book a classic. I remember reading this book when I was a little kid. And I loved it. Now I wasn't a big reader when I was a teenager. I really had struggled with that. But when I was a little kid, I loved books like this. They opened up my imagination and made me think of all sorts of funny little things. Now with this book, again guys, it's not a very long book. It's not a chapter book or anything. This is a kid's book. Which I love reading to my kids when they were littler. So with Imogene's Antlers, it's all about a little girl who wakes up one morning with a full rack of antlers on her head. And how she shocks her family. And all the little things that they're doing to try and, you know, hide the antlers, figure out what happened with the antlers, and make them useful. And it's all about this one little girl. She just, Imogene's going through her day, and she's just kind of like, okay, whatever. And I just love the fact that, you know, it's all about how when unexpected things happen in life, we've got to roll with the punches. And Imogene is just awesome. Now, I grew up in a family where uh, my parents are divorced, and I've got siblings, and it's always chaotic. And I loved the idea of imagining something bizarre happening like that, and just throwing everybody for a loop. Okay, I'm a weirdo, guys. I, I wanted to be imaging. But it's just such a cute story. I, I love how they do everything from trying to disguise it, the antlers as a hat, to, by the end of the day, just finding useful things to do with the antlers. Uh, from the little brother um, wanting to use it to hold candles up at night, to also the difficulties of having the antlers. You know, just trying to leave a room with the antlers is a pain. Trying to get dressed with the antlers is a pain. It's just so funny. And I love the fact that there are books like this out there that really get kids to open up their imaginations. And I really want to encourage that in today's society because today, and I'm guilty of this too, it's so easy to just flop your kids in front of a TV screen and, you know, let them watch a show, let them be on a tablet, let them, you know, a million and one things that are just all the imagination has been done for them. And books like this really, especially for young children, opens up their mind to all the silly possibilities, all the myths, all the, you know, anything their mind can come up with. And I think we need to encourage that as much as we can. So if you guys do get a chance, if you have little ones, you know, anybody under the age of six or something, heck, even, you know, I read this to the eight-year-olds. But if you get a chance, please check out books like Dave, um, like Imaging Antlers by David Small. It is wonderful. It is great. And again, it's little snippets like this that help get kids thinking, get them reading. So I hope you guys will go out, go to your libraries, check it out. Uh, you can find these online. Um, I actually had to <laughs> search online to get this one. But they're wonderful stories. And I hope you guys uh, watching this, if you have a favorite kid story that really got you into reading, or even as a teenager, really grasped you on to how awesome books are, please let me know in the comments. And any of you other parents out there, remember, there's lots of sources out there to get books for kids. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. you enjoyed that please check out our other videos already on YouTube and give us a like and subscribe and if you hit that bell for notifications you'll know when we put something new out so try to make everyday matter by finding the fun you guys have a great one bye